Magandang araw po muli and welcome to our weekly push. Ano nga po ba ang push? It means pray until something happens. Uh, ito po ay napaka-importanting uh, parte ng buhay na isang anak ng Diyos. Uh, at ako po ay uh, patuloy na bibigay ng encouragement for everyone to have this on a daily basis. Again, you can spread out your prayers, your push uh, throughout the rest of the day. Praying 3 to 5 minutes a day, maybe... Uh, 10 sessions per day means you will be praying for at least 30 to 50 minutes across one day. At pwede nyo pong schedule yan according sa work around nyo sa inyong schedule. You can pray every o'clock or every half hour to spread those sessions and to integrate it sa buhay mo. Halimbawa po, mag pray kayo every 9, 10, 11, 12, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 p.m. or you can actually schedule your prayers all throughout, let's say, 6.30 a.m., 7.30 a.m., maybe again at 11.30 a.m., 12.30 p.m., all across the day. And you will experience a difference, a change in your prayer lives. Ayan. Ngayon po, I'm going to encourage everyone to pray with me with some background music from our original composition, Dial Sa Cruz, and eventually some of our worship songs as we have this opportunity. So let's bow down our heads and close our eyes kung okay po sa inyo and it's permissible. If you are driving, just listen, listening in through, just pray with us right now without doing those things. I would also like to encourage you, if you have space enough to kneel down, uh, space enough to uh, do the child's pose, Stand up, lift up your hands. Depende po sa inyong uh, situation right now. I would encourage you to have those power positions of prayer while we are going to pray right now. Hallelujah. Right now, why don't we pray that the Lord will free us, free our family from the attacks of the devil right now. Come on, let's pray. Let's pray that way. Hallelujah. Panalangin natin na tayo ay lukuban ng proteksyon ng ating Panginoon sa araw na ito. Ang kanyang dugo, balutin ang bawat isa sa atin, sa ating pamilya, mahal natin sa buhay. Hallelujah. Ipanalangin po natin na tayo ay palibutan ng ating Panginoon ang kanyang banal na mga anghel para sa ating proteksyon for the rest of the day, mula sa atin, pamilya natin, mga mahal natin sa buhay, kasama natin sa simbahan. As the Spirit leads you, as the Spirit shows you their faces or they, their names, pray for them right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Now it's the time to do our warfare. Manalangin po tayo right now as one United Church, as I lead you to pray, let's pray that the Lord will reject and rebuke, render the devil powerless and effective and operative. In the mighty name of Jesus, sa ating buhay, sa ating pamilya, sa ating uh, mga kasamahan sa simbahan, or who, whoever it is that the Lord is leading us right now, in the mighty name of Jesus, hakaraya layarala ka. O oh, devil, the Lord render you powerless and effective and operative against us, against the church, in the mighty name of Jesus. Devil, you have been defeated, the Lord says. Devil, we are reminding you of that defeat and that you are judged. And when you are judged, you are going towards the eternal flames, wherein you are going to experience God's punishment for eternity and we remind you right now that the Lord has given us victory over you mga kapatid you are given victory in the mighty name of Jesus you have been given the authority to trample upon snakes and scorpions you have been given the encouragement to be reminded of your position in the Lord's family over and above the works of the devil in Jesus name hallelujah hallelujah mga kapatid i pray right now that every one of us will build enmity against the devil we will have hatred against the works of the devil against the devil as the lord has reminded us so that we will always always be 
Be in tune with the Lord. Protect ourselves from the wiles and attacks of the devil. Protect others from the attacks of the devils. And His deceptive words, His deceptive thoughts in the mighty name of Jesus. Sa mga nakikinig po right now, I am asking you to pray right now for SNJ church leaders. Hallelujah. 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 And right now, I am asking you to remind yourself how beautiful, how wonderful the power of the cross is sa buhay natin bilang mga Kristiyano. How important it is. Hallelujah. Beautiful. Beautiful it is right now. Why don't you pray right now para sa mga tao that the Lord is leading you to lead them towards Him. Mga tao na hindi pa nakakilala kay Kristo, Jesus bilang Diyos at tagapagligtas, pero ang Panginoon sinasabi niya, ito yung mga taong yon na naka-assign para sa iyo. Hallelujah. Oh, the devil, you are defeated. You have no power nor authority over us and over these people in the mighty name of Jesus. SNJ people, those who are listening in, Hallelujah. Bear with us as we pray for the 120 active ministers. Pray that the Lord will prepare us to harvest them and go sa tamang harvest fields. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Yara lahakam. Kala kala yakira. Oh, Father, we thank you for this beautiful morning's prayer. You are just absolutely awesome, mighty, and wonderful. Just we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Tutuloy po natin ang ating uh, discussion points today. And we are uh, discussing uh, second, uh, 1 Timothy chapter 2, verses 1 through 7. So, basahin ko muna sa inyo from a split version na ginagamit po natin. Uh, we're, we're reading the uh, verses 1 to 4 in Amplified Version. I hope you are reading with me while you are uh, viewing. If you are able to view the slide, sabi po rito, First of all, then I urge the petitions, specific requests, prayers, intercessions, prayers for others, and thanksgiving be offered in behalf of all people, for kings and all who are in positions of high authority, so that we may li- live peaceful and quiet life in all godliness and dignity. This kind of praying is good and acceptable and pleasing in the sight of God, our Savior, who wishes all people to be saved and come to the knowledge and recognition of the divine truth. Una naman po verse 5 to 7 in NLT version. I hope you are reading with me while you are viewing it. Uh, for there is one God and one mediator who can reconcile God and humanity, the man Christ Jesus. He gave his life to purchase freedom for everyone this message God gave to the, word, to the world at just the right time. And I have been chosen as a preacher and apostle to teach the Gentiles this message about faith and truth. I am not exaggerating, just telling the truth. Yan po ang sabi ni Apostle Paul sa kanya disciple na si Timothy. And may the Lord bless and add power to the reading of His mighty word. Today po, we are going to discuss verse 2 in the Amplified Version. For kings and all who are in positions of high authority, so that we may live a peaceful and quiet life in all godliness and dignity. Ang sabi po ng Panginoon dyan, we should pray for those who are in authority. It's very important po to pray for kings, sabi dyan. So the authority is anyone above us, anyone who is accountable to us, ang ating presidente, ang ating teacher, ang ating boss, immediate supervisor, ang may-ari ng organization. Those are people in authority, ang barangay. Ano po ang dahilan so that we may be able to live a quiet and peaceable life uh, in all godliness? Importante po talaga na malaman at maintindihan natin ang connection when we pray for the authorities above us and how we live peaceful lives. 
because we are able to respect them. We are able to understand their pains, their uh, challenges, yung, yung nangyayari sa hirap ng kanilang pagkatrabaho at pag-govern sa atin. Na. So, we will be able to see a glimpse of how difficult their lives are in terms of their authority over us. At syempre, kapag tayo ay nananalangin para sa mga tao in authority above us, we will be at peace with them. And hopefully, because of their governance, especially sa ating uh, bansang Pilipinas, our nation will be in peace, which is presumably right now, it's still in peace because it's not at war. So it's very important to continuously pray for those who are in authority because they definitely watch over us. At pangalawa, sabi po dyan, uh, napaka-importante na uh, not only peaceful and quiet lives we may live, but we will also have godliness and reverence. So, isinasabi po rito na importante na we, we pray that godliness and reverence will be a given to our faith na hindi magme-meddle ang gobyerno sa pananampalataya kresyano which is currently happening sa ating bansa and hindi tayo may interrupt at hindi lang naman in, in the presence of our government in our nation yan eh. but more so, of course, kung saan man tayo lalong lalo na nagbabalak na magtayo ng ministry. So, it's very important for us to realize how uh, uh, critical these things are. So, remember, it's important for us to continuously pray for the authorities, especially if we are having our ministries where they govern us. Ayan. So, tayo po ay manalangin para sa ating bansa sa oras na ito. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's pray for our president right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Panalangin po natin si President Duterte, si Vice President Robredo. Ipag-pray po natin ang Senado. Ipag-pray po natin ang Kongreso. Hallelujah. Kung saan man po tayong parte ng Pilipinas, anong local government tayo uh, we belong to, let's pray for our local government, sa ating mayor, vice mayor, sa ating mga councilors. At kung tayo ay nasa probinsya na may governor, let's pray for our governor if you know them. Hallelujah. Panginoon, ipinapanalangin po namin ang mga namumuno sa aming gobyerno mula sa tanod, uh, sa aming barangay officials hanggang sa aming presidente. Ang hiling po namin, gabayan niyo po sila. Bigyan niyo po sila ng proteksyon, lalong-lalo na po Panginoon sa nangyayaring pandemya sa amin. I pray those who are going to implement the vaccination, the programs, will be honest, will be faithful, and that they will have a heart para sa aming mga Pilipino. Mahirap man o may kaya, Ang importante po, gawin po nila ang trabaho nila ayon sa kalooban mo. Bigyan niyo po ng maayos na pamumuno ang aming presidente para ang nga mga desisyon ay nakaangkla po sa katotohanan at syempre para sa kabutihan na nakakarami. Alam po namin, Panginoon, na ang disiplina o ang pagiging mahigpit minsan ay nagdadala sa amin ng uh, discomfort. But it's very important for us, Lord God, na maralasan namin ang mga bagay na ito. Hallelujah. Lord, we are also praying right now. Let's pray, mga kapatid, mga nakikinig, para sa mga healthcare professionals natin. Dahil meron silang mga pamilya. Meron silang risk that they may get infected by the disease as well. Let's pray for them, mga nurses, mga caregivers, doctors, uh, staff, administrators, pharmacists, Everyone in the healthcare profession, let's pray for them. Hallelujah. Lord, hindi po namin maintindihan ang lalim at lawak ng pinagdadaanan nila, lalong-lalo na po yung mga kababayan namin, healthcare professionals in the front line. We pray that you will give us that empathy for them para maipanalangin po namin sila ayon sa kalooban mo. We not only pray for their protection, not only pray for their energy, but pray for their emotional resilience. Na makaya po nila yung nakatambad sa kanila. Mga pasyenteng namamatay at mga pasyenteng nakaka-recover. 
mga pamilya na natutuwa dahil nakarecover ang kanilang mga mahal sa buhay, mga pamilyang nagulungkot, nawewail, nagwewail because their family member died and they can even touch Lord God, the corpse. We pray for them, Lord God, the mga healthcare professionals na ito hanggat sa dulo Panginoon ng kanilang serbisyo. We pray that you will give them peace and give them, Lord God, a heart to serve. Lord, we pray for our economy. Magkaroon po ng magandang fiscal decisions ang aming bansa, ang aming mga namumuno, lalong lalo na po Panginoon sa mga nag-legislate ng batas at syempre Panginoon doon sa nag-regulate ng treasury namin. Lord, we pray also for the water crisis right now. Alam po namin, Panginoon, this is long-standing and it might go uh, more dangerous, Lord God, as the years go by. Lalong-lalo na, Panginoon, doon sa mga highly dense areas ng population. Higyan niyo po, Panginoon, ng, uh, ng plan, infrastructure plans, ang aming government, Lord God, for the water and sanitation crisis. Hallelujah. And we pray, Lord God, in general, sa lahat ng kababayan namin, na mga nalulungkot to find and seek you, to understand that you are the one who's not going to leave them no prescription, that you would want everyone to come to the saving knowledge of you, O oh Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now we're going to move toward, uh, towards our prayer request. I'm praying for uh, Cheng. Uh, I'm praying that... Uh, I'm not sure if he is a she or a he. Uh, I'm praying that magkaroon siya ng strength to overcome what's happening sa kanyang nanay. And I pray that magpipray din siya para sa kanyang ina at para sa kanyang pamilya. I'm praying for Angelica Balaw. I'm praying that maging handa siya kung ano man yung maaaring mangyari sa kanyang uh, papa. And I pray na ma-repair niya yung relationship niya sa kanyang papa. Kung meron man mga issues na nag underlie na sa kasalaku- kasalukuyang oras na to, na magkaroon po sila ng pagkakataon, na magkaroon ng healing together, yung emotional connection nila as uh, daughter and father. I'm praying for Laneline Sabido. I'm praying na kayo po ang magbigay ng healing sa kanyang uh, emotions, sa kanyang puso. I'm praying na kayo po ang magbigay sa kanya ng tapang na mabitbit po kayo, Jesus, sa kanyang pamilya, sa kanyang loved ones, yung circle niya po. And I'm praying as well na magamit niya pong avenue ang kanyang example uh, sa kanyang pag-aaral, sa kanyang pagiging anak so that Jesus, you may be glorified sa kanyang household. I am praying for Karen Calzon, praying for uh, the healing of uh, her mother-in-law uh, and the comfort that her mother-in-law needs. I am praying as well that you will lead her to learn to pray for others, to pray para dun sa mga class- classmates niya, sa kanyang kaibigan na maging fit sila enough para ma-qualify uh, at maingatan nila ang kalusugan nila if they have qualified to go uh, abroad, overseas Harry. at maraming salamat po sa puso ni Karen who actually looks for the welfare of others in the mighty name of Jesus Lord, nagpapasalamat po kami sa araw na ito We are thanking you for this prayer request, for giving us the opportunity to pray. It's a privilege to intercede. Beautiful, wonderful, powerful opportunities, Lord God, to experience you in a very, very powerful way. And I do pray, Panginoon, that everyone will understand how beautiful it is just to surrender our lives before you, obey you, magnify you, and glorify you. In the mighty name of Jesus.